Hello. Thank How are you? Me. I'm doing well. How are you all? Good, thanks. Good to Great see you. Discussion. Very nice to be here. Uh, uh, you have been with us uh, before uh, on S16. Uh, you've been one of the big proponents over the past several years with Senator Sears and others on this. Um, you uh, have seen an amendment that we are putting forward. Um, and we uh, started to look at the amendment yesterday and we, uh, I think overall there were some, some questions. So wondering if you might just um, say a few words, having seen the amendment, support for it, concerns, uh, suggestions that you might have, uh, and then we can uh, have a dialogue with you. Happily. So just a few words, the amendment, uh, the ACLU of course supports the amendment we are very interested in not only having data about school discipline or at least allowing this commission uh, to have the data that it needs to do the job that, that um, the legislature is asking it to do, but, uh, but to ensure that all um, categories uh, and things that are typically where we find disparities in school discipline are, are at their fingertips and uh, not just that information, but that it can be analyzed in a way that is, um, that, that allows the commission to really figure out like where are the connections? Um, and that's, that's the section about being cross tabulated. So it, it's, um, you know, we support the amendment. It adds a few key things to, to make sure that, a, a few key data points to make sure that the commission has the information that it needs to, to do its work. Without this information, we think that uh, the commission is gonna be at a deficit. And so we're hopeful that, that this information can be uh, provided to them. Now, uh, the, most of this information is available and has been available in previous agency of education reports on school discipline uh, that I mentioned in my last testimony. Uh, they, they did two to this committee in 2016 and 2017 um, that included most, if not all, of the information that, that this amendment seeks to include as well. And I'll, I'll stop there. I apologize that I was not um, uh, able to watch yesterday's review of the amendment, but I, I look forward to answering your questions if I can. No problem at all. Thanks for being here. That's very helpful. Uh, questions, uh, following up on yesterday's discussion, um, Senator Perslick? Uh, no, I don't have any spe I have specific language, I'm, but it sounds like Mr. Diaz is supportive of, of the bill as, as amended, which was one thing I was just wondering of, because I think it's a little different than if you were to go through from his report, kicked out, I think it was called, or that, that well, the things that was recommended in there, we might not be doing all those, we're, we're kind of taking an interment step, but. It, it looks like we're going in the direction that was recommended. So I just will, confirming that he feels that we're in the, we're, we're following the reports that were issued in the past. Mr. Diaz. Yes, I think we're supportive of the bill as a, as a, you know, a, a step forward. Uh, we certainly hope that the commission, um, you know, and we'll, we'll tell this to the commission if they, if they bring people in uh, or, the, or if we're a part of it, that, you know, there are certain things that we hope to see recommended uh, in accordance with what the data is telling us. Um, but, you know, we, it, and we think, but we, we agree that gathering data and having stakeholders at the table is important to actually coming up with meaningful solutions. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a great first step uh, down the road towards really addressing the disparities in exclusionary discipline in our schools. Senator, uh, Senator Hooker, please. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Diaz. Uh, one of the concerns about the amendment uh, was about the collection of data at small schools and um, disaggregating the data and therefore um, kind of exposing personally identifiable information. Um, can you talk about that and maybe ways to get around that, or do you see that as, as a problem or not? Thanks. So as a ACLU uh, attorney, uh, you know, we are very cognizant of privacy concerns, of course, 
uh, as, a, as a organization that fights for the right to privacy in a number of fronts. Uh, on this issue, we think that uh, I, I'm at least not seeing a major privacy concern. Uh, I'm aware of FERPA and it is a complex and somewhat um, labyrinthine law, I'll say. It, uh, it is never really clear to me you know, how, how exactly it applies when you're talking about just data points. However, my thinking was that this is just data that's going to the commission. Not all of it has to be released to the public. And so it's still within a state apparatus or a state entity. So um, hopefully that, that would handle some of those issues. Um, you know, I think the agency of education's lawyers will do everything they can to make sure that, that they're not violating FERPA. Uh, and, uh, but my hope is that the commission can have all the information it needs in order to make uh, decisions that make sense for the entire state. Well, I hope that, I, I know that's not a, maybe a full answer to the question, but, but I, I hope it's useful. Thank you. Yeah. Senator Lyons, please. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Jay. This is um, very helpful. I think yesterday we did talk about the data collection, the disaggregation, and what that little section actually meant. Um, but I, I do have another question about the, the categories that are listed here uh, for data collection. And understanding that you're trying to get at the variables that might contribute to a greater um, uh, disciplinary actions for some kids over others. And I, so, and knowing that um, uh, tiered support and PBI are all are related to mitigating against uh, social determinants. And I'm wondering if there was any thought to including any of that uh, sort of epidemiological analysis of um, family situation, um, exposure to drugs, a single parent home, uh, that kind of information that is very uh, informative uh, when children have behavioral problems and including this kind of discipline. So the, the, knowing that there is a strong interest in um, understanding the racial disparities or gender, gender differences and so on, but uh, did you, was there any thought about or could there be some thought about some of these other areas? I think there certainly could be some thought about them. Um, my understanding of the amendment uh, or the, the categories in the amendment is that those are categories that schools traditionally track. So, and, and that's why they were included. Um, and so I'm not sure, you know, and because schools, as we all know, do a lot of data collection. Um, and so this was trying to mirror some of that. Uh, and, if, and again, it also, if, if the data is not there for some of these things, it may cause the commission to make recommendations about what data, what additional data needs to be gathered if possible. Um, well, but yeah. my understanding is at least the, the data that's currently there gives it. Um, I know we might currently be collecting all the data and we might not actually be getting down to the exact information that is going to help us understand how to change the direction. Uh, so I don't know, maybe is there a way to add something in here about um, exploring new data categories? without defining those, maybe related to social determinants, something like that? Certainly, I mean, I think that's something the commission, uh, you know, that you all could, could add and that the commission um, could be tasked with. Wanna work on some language uh, center lines with Ms. Demaray, Mr. Demaray, yeah. see well, if we can yeah. bring it to us tomorrow. Okay, we'll do that. That sounds okay. As long as Jim is willing to help me, I'm glad to do it. Always. Always, <laughs> okay. always there. Uh, any other questions for uh, Mr. Diaz? Okay. 
Thank you, Jay. Great. No, thank you all for your work on this bill and, and the many others. There's a lot. You're all very busy. So I really appreciate the work that that's been going on, especially in terms of equity issues. This well, thank, session you. So yeah, thank you. And, uh, you know, we know how to reach you uh, and where to reach you if we run into uh, any other questions. So, Senator Hooker, before we go, uh, you're on the floor with this probably Tuesday. Any other questions uh, from you? Um, not right now, but I would okay. like to talk with Jim and maybe with Senator Lyons is crafting more of more sure. language for the amendment and just get some clarification on, you know, what we expect from the amendment. Can I, uh, maybe Please. I could add something. I'm, I'm looking at the, um, on page three of the proposal that we have uh -huh. um, in between the yellow. And it does say recommend changes to the types of data collected and data collection processes. So I'm wondering if we, um, if we could include in there something about um, data collection related to um, the contribution of social determinants, something like that um, to suspensions and expulsions. Uh, something just so it's there, it doesn't yeah. have to be fully explicit or a big deal, but a little something to move it along. Uh, Jim, do you need any other language besides that uh, to uh, from Senator Lyons? I don't, that's very clear. And I don't see any of objections uh, to adding something like that. And Senator Lyons, if this were to pop up as a question in any way uh, on the floor, you know, we'll look to you to- uh, Sure, Senator Hooker will be really good. At there's, well, there's Senator no question. Lyons will <laughs> quote you beforehand. Yeah. There's, there's no question uh, about that. And uh, great. Anything else before we move on to Secretary French's uh, eyes and uh, comments on this uh, amendment? And Mr. Diaz, if you're able to stay on, uh, we would welcome that. Uh, thank you for your help. Thank you for your support. And uh, we may be uh, calling on you soon. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, I'll be here. Thanks. Secretary French, good afternoon. Uh, very much appreciate you coming in. Uh, we know uh, you're equally as busy uh, this time of year, being pulled in all sorts of directions. Uh, we are continuing our work on S-16, which is in appropriations, uh, and where we're hoping to get uh, their support. Uh, we appreciate all the work you've already done on S-16 and your support and moving in this direction. We do have an amendment uh, that I know was shared with you where we, uh, the pro tem and Senator uh, Hardy uh, came to a few of us asking to disaggregate some of this data. Um, and we've just heard from, we've heard from our ledge council, uh, Mr. Diaz at the ACLU, and now uh, eager to hear your thoughts on this. So with that, the floor is yours. Yeah, good afternoon. Um... I appreciate the opportunity to testify. I have not seen the amendment, so I just I just received the invitation uh, to testify about an hour ago. Um, so I'm I'm unfamiliar with what's being proposed. I apologize. Um, I couldn't uh, find it on your website. Uh, it, the apology is mine. I'm just looking to see if uh, our committee assistant uh, Ms. Lowell might um, have it for us, or might it be on the website? It, it is there. It is there. It's Where, under it's under S sixteen. I don't think it's on the on today's um, document. Probably on yesterday's document. I don't know where. Yeah. See if I can find it. I can I can change it. Uh, can you put it on today's? Yep. Thanks, Jeannie. Uh, while, while we're doing this, I can just mention a little bit, uh, Mr. Secretary, what we're trying to do is um, specify and collect, uh, you know, what kind of data are we looking for? You know, our concerns, uh, and I know you share them around, um, you know, our students from the BIPOC community, our disabled students, our other students, who is experiencing these uh, suspensions and expulsions um, we're trying to get information uh, 
more specific information that will inform this commission as it uh, moves to do this work. Um, and gathering data and, and having uh, this data um, in front of stakeholders and those involved, uh, we feel is, I don't wanna speak for the committee. Uh, I, I feel like we're leaning in that direction of finding that to be uh, an important thing. Yeah, I, I'm still having trouble finding the amendment. Um, I just, because it takes a while for the system okay. to load it. <laughs> so refresh is sent to you by Enoch too, so. Oh, okay, thank you, I'll look for it there. Yeah, I got it there, thanks. If you want to take a moment uh, and go off screen, Secretary French, uh, and read it, we are happy to take a, uh, a quick uh, five minute stretch. No, I, I can read it pretty quickly. Okay. Um, and I'm, when you say amendment, so uh, this is, I'll just read through. Um, the yellow. Yep. Uh, so much for the stretch. Problem with having such a, <laughs> a smart and talented secretary of education. Yeah, well, no, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so you're specifying the disaggregation. That's what I'm picking up on. That's correct. Yeah. Um, all data was disaggregated by minimum following subgroups. This shall be cross tabulated. So this is prescribing some uh, reporting format, basically, is how I view it. Is that is that fair? Let's see. And yep. the task force shall make ready to end suspensions. OK, and define this is my best practice, compile available data and the data collection regarding suspensions, total number of this, total number. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see a problem with that. It's, um, you know, my concern, just to reiterate previously, I've read through this whole thing now, you know, was about um, prescribing data elements, I'll call them, that, um, you know, that might or might not exist in the federal, federal data dictionary. So I don't see that concern here from what I'm reading. It's uh, certainly, I think, appropriate to have a group make recommendations to improve data collections if they're insufficient. And I, I know that that claim was made in the earlier vision of the draft, which I think is totally appropriate. Um, I was concerned about that group then defining what those data elements were or would should be without, um, you know, and they certainly could make recommendations in that regard, but to actually do it is, I think, is problematic. And my other concern was that they would also be involved in the collection of the data. What I read here is more about reporting, making sense of the information, and making recommendations. Um, so, I, you know, there's nothing here I think that would be problematic from the agency standpoint. I think the reporting format uh, would be improved because uh, I know that's been an issue. Um, but we certainly also, as I make, make the point last time, if, if the reporting, um, reporting systems that we have or the collections that we have are deemed to be insufficient for Vermont purposes, then we should, we should endeavor to create new data collections. But it needs to be acknowledged, firstly, that there is a, a world, a universe of data elements out there. And I know Vermont's a very special and unique place, but I, I ha find it hard to imagine that there aren't somehow already defined in that larger data dictionary the elements that we would find useful. Um, and I did, I think I circulated to you anyway, Senator Campion, the uh, report that the, the, the AOE was asked to do in 2017 on this issue on exclusionary disciplines it sort of talked about some of the, the data elements that are available in the small end size and, and so forth. But I think as amended, this is an improvement to the concerns that I had previously. Okay. And I'm, I'm I, you know, I, I've circulated written testimony to you as well. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, yeah. I appreciate that. And we can go back and. And I, and I would just underscore the point too, that um, I'm, I'm willing as secretary as any secretary should to be held accountable for the data reporting requirements. That is one of the essential responsibilities of the secretary right. and the general assembly should expect and query the agency to produce reports and so forth. My earlier concern was like you were setting up another group to have responsibility over specific data collection, and that 
that's just one of those contributing factors that undermines our capability to actually do what we're supposed to do. If we're not doing something well, then you should expect us to do it better. But to to add on some other group to that cross purposes actually distracts us from from doing what is an essential requirement of our our function. Uh, Mr. Diaz, while you're here, and Mr. Demaray, uh, any any concerns or questions, committee members? Of course, first and foremost, uh, as we can just have a conversation about this uh, as we're at this stage. Uh, Jim, I just want to address the comment earlier from Senator Hooker about our concerns about privacy. Uh, the language does say subject to state and federal privacy law, so it would not allow the release of information even to the task force if that release would violate federal or state privacy laws. Okay. Questions? Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Appreciate it very much. I don't know if you're able to stay on with us for a little bit. Uh, we are going to just take a quick break until 2.45 and return and would love to just have 15 minutes of your time to talk about um, what we've been uh, talking a lot about this, this session and that is um, sort of COVID recovery. Yeah, sure. I'm, uh, I think my schedule is good till three. So I'll Great. Okay. look so forward to having that conversation.